Welcome to Mallorca. Six years after Kia presented the concept car called Kia GT on the IAA in Frankfurt, they now deliver the road legal version of their new car. It's called Kia Stinger. How this nearly five meter long GT drives and what else it delivers, let's find out now. One of my personal highlights with the new Kia Stinger is for sure the exterior design. So when you look at the front, the car really comes very flat here at the front. We have this very wide grille here and that is framed with this very flat, very thin um, headlights here. If you want, you can have them as full LED headlights as well, just by the way. When we go more down, you see this big massive spoiler down there and this very wide air intake. And we have, when we go to the side, we do have this um, vertical air intakes here on top of this. And so the whole face really looks completely muscular, very sporty. Another very nice design feature is the hood here. That is completely integrated into the body of the car. So you not have any kind of a, uh, an obstacle when you look from the front of the car. That really looks like one piece from the front. So overall, very muscular, extremely sporty. Looking at the side, what you see instantly is that we really find a pure GT shape. So this really is a Gran Turismo. We start here with this very long hood, and then we have this very flat front window here. We have a roof line that drops massively to the rear, and very important to make it a real Gran Turismo. We do have a very long overhang at the, at the rear, a very short one at the front. That one here at the rear is more than one meter long. And when you look at the dimensions of the car, the car is four meters 83 long. We have a wheelbase of two meters 99. And that not only gives you extra comfort on a longer trip, but also stretches the car a lot, gives them an extra sporty look. Something I really like are these rear view mirrors here in Chrome. They really give the car an extra push. And then when you look down here, we have these air outtakes here in Chrome as well. So another sporty application. And then, when you look at the shape down here, you can see the car looks a bit like it's getting thinner in the middle, and that really makes the whole car look a lot more sporty. And when we then look at the wheels, you can have up to 19 inch wheels on that car. Um, our car comes with a 19 inch wheels as standard because this is the top version. So overall, I have to say a re really very sporty looking Gran Turismo. At the rear of the Stinger, it really gets sporty again. The car is 1 meter 87 wide, so one of the widest cars in the market. And the sportiness is really underlined by this integrated, very nicely shaped rear spoiler here. And what I really like are these 3D shaped taillights here. They come as standard with LED technology. And to give the car an extra sporty kick, we do find, of course, a diffuser here. And very important, we do have these four big exhausts. Another big plus of the Kia Stinger, aside of the very beautiful exterior design, is, from my perspective, the drivetrain and the suspension. The car really sits absolutely solidly on the road, and very important is you have to know that you can have two different variants of the powertrain. So one is a rear-wheel powered car, that is the standard for the small uh, petrol engine, and then with the diesel engine you can choose between rear-wheel powered or all-wheel drive, and with the 3.3 liter V6, you will always have all wheel drive on board. And on top of this, you do have the option between different drive modes, which you can choose. Um, that goes from smart over comfort up to sport and sport plus. And very important is if you switch into sport or sport plus, that not only changes the suspension, which gets stiffer, or the steering, which is more direct, more precise, or the engine that is more aggressive. It also changes the power output regarding to the front and the rear power. So that means uh, when you drive more sport, you will have instantly more power to the rear of the car. When the new Stinger hits the market, Kia offers three different engines for their car. The first one is a 2.2 four-cylinder diesel engine, and that offers 200 horsepower. The next step is the four-cylinder 
2 liter petrol engine that offers 256 horsepower and then we do have this powerhouse here the top version that is a 3.3 v6 twin turbo engine and that offers 370 horsepower top speed here is 270 kilometers per hour so the actual fastest Kia on the market and that's the same with the acceleration it needs only 4.9 seconds to accelerate that car from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour very important all stingers come as standard with a new 8-speed automatic gearbox of Kia Overall, I have to say the setup of the Stinger is quite sporty, even though when you're using the comfort mode. Um, but you don't miss any because you can drive the car quite sporty there. Um, but it's still extremely comfortable. And I think one reason for that is, of course, the long wheelbase. And very important is I really like the steering a lot because that's precise and direct. And that really brings the car wherever you want to bring the car instantly. The materials as well as the craftsmanship at the interior of the Kia Stinger is absolutely as expected. It's very nice and I think maybe it's a bit more than you expect from a Kia. Uh, we find loads of leather in here. We, we can hardly find any plastic anymore. And I have to say the only thing I would love to have is something a bit more interesting here at the center console. But the whole interior look is very clean and I think I have to say that fits the car absolutely perfectly. A big plus of the Kia Stinger is what comes with the car as a standard. For instance, we do have, with every car, um, an 8-speed automatic on board. We do have leather seats, we have heated seats, electric seats which you, with, with a memory function. Uh, we do have a climate control, of course. We do have adaptive cruise control on board. A head-up display comes with the car as standard. So this really is a big package that uh, Kia offers here and all comes for free. Um, one thing I don't like so much is the look of the um, sat-nav here. This is an eight inch touchscreen that works perfectly, but um, regarding to the look and shape, I have to say, when you look at the exterior of the car, I would love to have something more clean, more modern. Um, but on the other hand, there is a positive thing as well. When you buy the Kia Stinger, you will have as with all the other Kia, seven years warranty coming with the car. And very important, you will also have seven years of free updates regarding to the maps of your sat-nav. The combination out of the head-up display, which comes as standard and the standard cockpit cluster really works well. So the head-up display offers all the information you expect there. And very important, the contrast of the head-up display, I think it's really good. So that means you can really easily read everything and it doesn't matter if it's sunny or if you drive in the night. Um, regarding to the uh, standard cockpit cluster I have to say you will not find a full digital cockpit in the car like you may find in other premium cars but I really have to say I like this black and black look of these round instruments because that looks a bit solid but on the other hand still very sporty. You sit very deep in the car that really gives you a good feeling. You have a very supportive seat and still comfortable. Um, we have a sporting steering wheel here, which you can really pull very close to yourself, so you really have uh, can have the car in complete control all the time. And even me, um, as a tall person, I do sit very nice in the car. Uh, but I have to say, behind me, of course, there's not so much space anymore. We just stopped to have a closer look how much space really is in the rear when I sit in the front. And will I fit in? What really is special is that the door here opens very wide. So this nearly is a 90 degree angle. But that's less the leg room that we're talking about. It's more the headroom. And that's, this is because of the shape of the car. Um, this, is a, this is a very coupe form, a uh, coupe shape. And so that means you have not, not so much headroom. And this is the same with the boot size. Uh, the boot offers between 406 liters with the rear seats up and only 1114 liters with the rear seats fold down and this is of course because because we do not have this this headroom or the shape that could give us the extra liters we may uh, look for
as we like to say, the best always comes at the end. And that's the same with our day with the Kia Stinger here in Mallorca. Welcome to Cop Formentor. What a view. And I have to tell you, it's not only the view, it's also the way up here with that car. We have beautiful roads and the car works perfectly. So the combination out of the eight-speed automatic gearbox and the 3.3 V6 really is a pleasure to drive. The car offers, because of the great suspension, a lot of comfort, but on the other hand, a very sporty drive. And then there is the price of the car. That starts at the base model with a small um, four-cylinder petrol engine, a little bit less than 44,000 euros here in Germany. And I have to say that comes with such a big amount of extras. Uh, I can give you an example. You will have a head-up display with a base model as well.